Wherever in this world I roam, I carry memories of my... Right, let's check that event that I'm almost late to do. It's been like a whole week of waiting. Time to go. No stitch. Let me just confirm. Yes, all tasks on the checklist are complete. Traveler, Paimon, we are grateful for your assistance. What? What is she talking about? You know, it's a bit too low. Thank goodness you were able to come as soon as we contacted you. Who knows how we would have coped with all these commissions otherwise. I was nothing. The last couple of days have been pretty busy, but it was all super easy stuff, like delivering and escorting goods. When we heard that you were short on people, mm. we thought we were going to be in for another long and drawn out adventure. She has followers. I... I don't remember speaking to her. Being the seasoned adventurers that you are, it's true that you are suited to work of a much higher caliber than your recent assignments. However, this situation is unavoidable in Mondstadt at this time of year. Huh? Why is that? For this harvest season, not the season. That's right. This is the ideal season for harvesting crops and fruits. And for the wine capital of Tavat, it's also the all important winemaking season. Farmers are anxious to sell off their fresh produce, and all the major wine merchants are seeking to purchase top quality ingredients to make new product. Ah, well, no wonder we keep hearing people talking about wine these days. Do we? Huh? What do you mean? Seriously? Yes, I swear I'm not making this up. The acting grandmaster wants everyone to gather at headquarters in the main hall. Hurry! We need to leave right now or we'll be late! Hey, w wait up! Uh, why do those two knights look so flustered? Well, hello there. If it isn't the Traveler and Paimon, what a rare pleasure. Kaya! Just the person we need! Um, why is everyone running off to the Knights of Favonius headquarters all of a sudden? Uh, is there a help required too? <laughs> Don't worry. This isn't one of those occasions where you need to come to everyone's rescue. All that's happened is that the Knights of Favonius have just received a letter from the Grand Master. Acting Grand Master Jean will be convening a meeting in the main hall shortly to go through it. Hmm. <sighs> well, that's a relief. Wait, hold on a second. What did you say again? Letter from the Grand Master. The Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius? That's... Isn't that Varka? The leader of that legendary expedition? Yeah, but we can do it. just a letter. We haven't seen them yet. So, what did Varka say in the letter? How's the expedition going? When are they getting back? Oh, so interested in our Grand Master all of a sudden? Never knew you were such a gossip. It's only normal, isn't it? You'd be curious too if there was someone you'd heard loads about but never met. Even Master Jean says he's a living legend. Oh, pretty hard not to get hyped up after hearing that. Besides, the expedition has been going on for ages, and we still never heard a single thing about what they're up to. <laughs> the acting Grandmaster is very gracious in her appraisal. Varka brought quite a bit of trouble to those around him on the road to becoming a legend. I'll have to tell you about it sometime. Anyway, since this has piqued your interest, why don't you join me at headquarters? And we'll see what the letter says. We do miss our honorary knight, after all. It's been quite a long time since your last visit. 
Sure. Let's go and see what it's all about. Bye, Catherine. See you soon. All right. Take care now. So this Catherine parish of the crash was not really relevant. Like just about everyone's here. Hey there, cutie. Paimon. I didn't know you two would be coming. So you heard about the letter? Yep. We ran into Kaya near the Adventurers Guild. Oh, wow. Paimon's never seen so many people in the main hall at once before. Oh, Paimon's getting kind of nervous now. <laughs> Don't get too carried away, all right? If I know the Grand Master, the fact that he has the time to be writing letters means it's probably nothing serious. It certainly won't be bad news. Kaya's exaggerating a little, but otherwise I agree. After all, Mika's not the kind of person who'd be able to keep it hidden if something were the matter. The truth would be written all over his face. Mika, over that? there, look. The kid standing next to Jean in front of the oh. staircase? He used to be a land surveyor in Eula's team. He's very talented in what he does, and a very reliable person. When the expedition team set out, the Grand Master appointed him to be the core member of the frontline team. He's the one that brought back the letter. Please, may I have your attention, everyone? Now that we're all here, let's begin reading out the letter from the Grand Master. <clears throat> Mika, please, go ahead. Y yes Master Jean. Uh, right. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. I am Mika, surveyor of the Reconnaissance Company. Uh, recently, I have been taking part in an assignment with the expedition team. I will now be reading Grandmaster Varka's letter aloud for you all. <clears throat> to the Knights of Favonius. Greetings, everyone. This is Varka. The first thing I want to say to you all is please put your minds at ease. The expedition is safe, and all of its members are accounted for. Oh, well, that's fantastic news. <sighs> My palms are sweating. <sighs> Um, may I continue? Go ahead, Mika. All right. Now that your fears are allayed, I trust you'll be ready to listen to the rest of my letter. I'm writing to you from the northernmost reaches of Tevat by the light of a stove. The expedition forces are stationed here while we restock. I once told you that the purpose of this expedition was related to a dangerous secret from days long past. I am still unable to disclose more than this, but suffice to say that you needn't worry about how our mission is progressing. In the past couple of months, we received an unexpected visitor. The Fatui Harbinger known as... The Captain. Uh, the Captain? I am fully aware of the Fatui's outrageous actions in Mondstadt in recent history. Nevertheless, the captain was not hostile towards us on this occasion. Open parenthesis. I rather suspect that's because this time, 
Snezhnaya and we are in the same boat. Close parenthesis. The man hides everything under the mask he wears, so no one can know his past or his origins. However, one thing is for sure. He is as hard as iron for having the courage to challenge gods as an ordinary mortal. I don't doubt that he could even take out a ruin guard by stabbing it in its big, glowing eye with one of Klee's crayons. Open parenthesis. Don't get any ideas. Close parenthesis. Our scouts have confirmed that the captain received orders to head for Natlon three days ago. We'll be able to sleep much better now that we don't need to worry about him anymore. I will admit that some of his actions have helped us, but even then, he owed us at least that much. This year's Vineleza Fest must be kicking off in Mondstadt any day now. What a great pity that this year, once again, we will be unable to spend the festival together. Everyone here is always thinking back fondly upon the fine wines of Mondstadt, as well as the happy times we have spent with each and every one of you. I hope that you and all the citizens of Mondstadt enjoy the festival to the fullest. May Lord Barbados bless Mondstadt, and may the wind carry our sentiments back to your side. Varka. P.S. If you're wondering who's tougher between me and the captain, well, I'm the Grand Master. There are ten captains in the Knights of Favonius, but only one Grand Master. Ah ha 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 ha. His left, not mine. The letter ends here. Thank you, everyone, for your attention. Thank you, Mika. Master Jean, um, I just noticed that there's something else written on the back of the last page. It was a single paper. <clears throat> P.P.S. I ran out of paper, so I'll add this here. Lisa, the following is a message for you. Uh, oh, uh, this part seems to be from the Grand Master to Miss Lisa. Oh, for me? Uh, seeing that it's a special message, Lisa, we'll discuss this in private. Everyone, as the Grand Master mentioned in his letter, the Vine Lisa Fest is in just a few days. And how fortunate we are at this time to receive word that all is well with the expedition. Though they are unable to return to Mondstadt and spend the festival with us, the Vinlesa Fest will nonetheless be a major event that all of Mondstadt is looking forward to. I hope that everyone will guard your stations and perform your duties, both for our far-flung colleagues involved in the expedition, and also for the hard-working people of Mondstadt. And of course, during your time off, I hope you will be able to rest, relax, and enjoy this long-awaited festival. That brings our meeting to a close. Dismissed. Did Paimon hear that right? They ran into the Fatui's captain? Hmm. Who knows what that was about? But it must have been important. But, uh, Fatui Shmatui, the real big deal here is the Vine Lisa Fest. Sounds like there'll be loads of free food and drink. Paima wants to hear more. Ain't that Paima? Hey, cuties. How about we go and chat with Jean? You didn't get a chance to say a proper hello with so many people here. Sounds good. All right, let's go. Hmm, so we can just here like that. I thought we had to earn it. Hmm. Oh, I can zoom in here. Oh no. Okay, I was just talking too close to them. This boy doesn't have a vision. Ah, there it is, the vision. Okay, sand. It kind of looks like a bird. And not just because of that matter on his book. Oh yeah, what are you guys talking? Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> hi there. Um, you must be looking for Captain Kaya? Please, don't mind me. Hmm, yeah, she was looking for you. I just wanted to say hi. Oh, uh, wait, but what? Oh, jeez, Captain Kaya, wh what should I say? <laughs> oh, Mika, how have you not changed one bit after being on the front line this long? You were just asking me about the Storm Terror incident, weren't you? Well, allow me to introduce you to the legendary Honorary Knight. That's right! And also the legendary Paimon! Hi there! You guys are so strong! I'm... I'm in awe! Um... I have to go and report in with Captain Eula now. Please excuse me. Too bad. Paimo was going to ask him all about the expedition. That is a pity, it really is. But don't take it the wrong way. The way he sees it, every pair of eyes in Mondstadt is focused squarely on you. Give it some time, and this will all sort itself out. Next time you see him, I'm sure he'll get along just fine. Well, we just haven't gone to the expedition yet because, well, lore wise, they didn't want to. In fact, we share a little north. secret with you. Try talking to him about exploring the wild. You'll win his trust in no time. Well, what do you think? Glad you tagged along this time? A little birdie told me that you'll be staying in Mondstadt for the Vinelisa Fest. Hope you enjoy yourselves. Ah, oh, Lisa, the Grandmaster's letter is just on the table. Traveler, Paimon, it's been a long time. Apologies, I didn't get the chance to talk with you during the meeting just now. If you don't have any plans in the immediate future, why not stay in Mondstadt for a while? We'll be celebrating the Vine Lisa Fest very soon. Don't be deceived. Jean may appear very composed, but she's been missing you both terribly recently. <sighs> Lisa. <laughs> I'll leave you to catch up. I'm going to read my letter. Uh, I missed Monstats too. Uh, or I miss everyone. It'll be the same. Yeah! Monstats where our journey began after all. We have a lot of fond memories here. Um, Master Jean, neither of us really knows anything about this Vine Lisa Fest. Could you tell us more about it? Yes, of course. The Vinelisa Fest is an ancient Mondstadt festival, just like Ludi Harpastum and Windbloom. In addition, it's the most important part of the fall. Shouldn't it have happened the past years? Each fall, the west wind blows in Mondstadt. Legend has it that the wonderful scent of Mondstadt's winemaking during the harvest season entices even the Animo Archon into attendance, being the great wine lover that he is. Uh, no matter where he is, he will transform into a soft breeze and return to his homeland. <sighs> yeah, that sounds like the Animo Archon, all right. For this reason, Mondstatters call the western wind the returning wind, the Vinelisa Fest originally began as a celebration to welcome Lord Barbados on his return. In the past, every household would brew fresh wine around this time of year and keep it sealed at least until wind coming day during the following year's Vinelisa Fest. Uncasking the sealed wine is a symbolic way of inviting the Animo Archon to share a drink. Legend holds that if the Animo Archon is satisfied with the taste of the wine, he will summon a gentle breeze to richly bless the people. Be bless. Oh. Knowing him, it was probably blessing them with more good wine the next year. That's a good question. Huh. But there's really no way of knowing. There is. These are very old stories. Many of the details have been lost to time. Yep. Some stories change completely as they get passed down. Hence why these days, Mondstatters will get into endless arguments over what kind of flower a wind bloom is. 
Mm, all part of how cultural heritage is created. Indeed. But for the time being, at least, the tradition of paying tribute to the Animal Archon on Windcoming Day is still alive and well, and the Vinelesa Fest remains a time for Mondstatters to share the joy of the harvest with one another as they partake. Uh, the lights went off. While I was talking to Lisa and Jing. You know, I noticed now that it was myself saying I was still playing Link's Awakening, which I am. This is a time of the year when many Mondstatters living away from Mondstadt return to their hometown. For those unable to return, Vinelesa Fest is the period when they miss their family and friends most keenly. Yeah, I think it was here. sentiments back to your side for this year we've joined forces with the church of favonius and the adventurers guild to host a celebration on the banks of cider lake just outside of springvale there will also be a traditional wine market during the festival period wine market well originally it was simply a place where winemakers and farmers would come to trade in raw ingredients for winemaking these days, it is a much grander affair. Not only will you find a range of choice wines, but seasonal fruit beverages and food items for everyone to enjoy too. A lot of people also sell secondhand goods and handicrafts at the market. The Knights of Favonius plan to use this as an opportunity to do some fundraising for needy children and elderly people in the city. Wow, sounds pretty cool! If you have the time, I encourage you to take a look around. I hope you'll find it a worthwhile experience. Um, now, Lisa, what was the Grand Master's message to you about? I was just about to bring that up. The Grand Master says he wants me to handle something for him. Something to do with Razor's past. Oh, Razor's past. Razor told us that he was raised by a pack of wolves in Wolvingdom. He never knew his parents. In his own words, the wolf pack is his lupica, which means family. Yes, that was as much as I knew as well. But in his letter, the Grand Master says that in the cabinet above the third bookshelf, to the right of the grandfather clock in Jean's office, there's a wooden box containing some items that Razor's parents left for him. He says it's time to give the box to Razor. Mm. Does this mean the Grand Master knew Razor's parents? It would seem so. The Grand Master didn't simply run into Razor one day in Wolvendom and teach him how to use a sword. No, the connection between them goes back much further. Mm. Wow! Well, come on! Let's go find Razor! He'll be pretty excited to find out something about his true parents! Hmm. I'm all is that something's wrong you? Oh, cutie. Nothing escapes your eyes, does it? For the child who never met their biological parents, this kind of conversation is always a difficult one, even for the most well-adjusted. By contrast, Razor grew up in Wolvendom and has had very limited contact with human society. Who knows whether he's ready for this or not? I'm sure the Grand Master will have given due consideration to Razor's circumstances, Perhaps he felt that now would be the most appropriate time. Hmm, that's a good point. Okay, cuties, can I leave you to break the news to Razor? Sure, we see what exactly are the news first. He thinks of me as his teacher, so he might not open up to me if he gets upset. But you are his trusted friends. I think it makes more sense for him to hear about this from you. All right, leave to us. Thank you, sweetie. Try to be as encouraging as you can. Someone his age needs all the love and support they can get. Which is? What's his age? Is there something else you would like to discuss? About the expedition? It was good of Mika to bring the letter back all this way. Knowing that everyone is safe and sound is the best encouragement I could ask for. Still, I hadn't counted on the captain making an appearance. The Grand Master has a rather uh, unconventional way of describing things. 
But even then, I've never heard him give such high recognition to anyone before. If you ever encounter the captain on your own journey, be on your guard. He is not someone to be underestimated. Is there something else you would like to discuss? Huh? Mika tells me that rather than rejoining the expedition party, Grandmaster told him to return to his post in Eula's reconnaissance company after delivering the letter. Land surveyors are usually situated in the vanguard of an army on the move and are tasked with exploring previously uncharted territory. Huh, it looks like the expedition must have entered into a much less intense phase. Have you had the chance to speak with Mika yet? When he's with people he hasn't met before, he tenses up and stands bolt upright. <laughs> I really wish he had a little more self-confidence. Is there something else you would like to discuss? Oh, dear. There is still some preparation to do, but don't worry, everything's on track. Actually, while we're on the topic, I have an assignment I'd like to give you. Namely, mm. enjoy the festival to the fullest. Any objections? Is there something else you would like to discuss? Goodbye. Goodbye. I wish you a very pleasant Vinelisa Fest. As his teacher, I have a duty to give him the best education and guidance that I can. I'll make sure I'm prepared by the time you get back. Hmm. Go on now, cuties. I'll leave Razor in your hands. Okay, but don't have to grab whatever. Shouldn't we grab the thing here instead of just running out? How about your letter? Well, what do you think? A little birdie told... Oh, hang on. Is he here? No. <laughs> Time to go! Oh, load up. Razor's usually around Wolvendom, right? Uh, how do you think he'll react after hearing about this? There's a trap there. Hey, look! Hmm. It's a hunting trap. Hmm. It looks like the ones that the hunters from Springfield use. Huh? What is it? There are traces of electro energy near the trap. Electro energy? Hmm. Paimon wonders if it could be Razor. But Paimon thought he was pretty good at avoiding the hunters. Well, anyway, let's follow the traces of Electro and see where they lead. Look! There's another trap up ahead! Can you feel that Electro energy too? The Electro traces lead deep into Wolvendam. Let's keep going! Time to go. Razor! Are you there? Time to go. All right. The last trap has been set. Razor, 
Thanks for coming with me all this way. It's okay. My legs are strong. Hmm? What is it, Razor? <laughs> it smells familiar. Friend, from far away. hunting together? Yes, it's almost harvest season, and the boars are venturing into the towns and wineries looking for food. They're trampling crops and destroying the vineyards. Someone could get seriously hurt. The Knights of Favonius came to us asking for help, keeping the boars a safe distance away from the population. I and Uncle Browncat catch <laughs> boars, protect everyone. Wow, Razor! This is a big step for you. Paimon remembers you used to hide away from the hunters. <laughs> you can say that again. Razor was the star of the show this time. He let the wolves know we'd be coming, so we were able to get through Wolvendom without anyone getting hurt. Yeah, we should have seen wolves by now. Helping everyone, helping Lupacall, makes me happy. <sighs> but much talking. Very tired now. Still, it's a set of pros. Yeah! But, um, actually, we came here today because we have some really important news. A theory is about Varka's letter. Oh. I don't know. Razor, do you mean you don't want to know about your real parents? I want to know, but don't Should... want to know. Shouldn't we talk to him private now with this guy here? Uh, so you do want to know, but at the same time you don't want to know? Ugh, sounds complicated. Traveler, come and take a look at the trap I just placed. Let's give Razor some space to process things. What is... Uh, yes, I have some thoughts about this after seeing how Razor reacted. We've been hunting together a lot recently. The kid might not talk much, but still, I feel like I've come to understand him a little over the time we've spent together. Here's what I think. He definitely wants to find out about his parents. It's just that his fear of the unknown is overwhelming everything else he's feeling. I'm a father myself, so... I know a thing or two about kids. You know, when Diana was little, if I got back late from a hunt one night, she'd be watching me like a hawk for days afterwards, as if she was worried that I might abandon her. Do you mean Razor's worried that he was abandoned by his own parents? Exactly. I think that's the heart of it. And if it turns out they did, well, I don't think there's anything we could say to console him. That's not my only concern, though. Razor is developing at his own pace. There are lots of issues that can't be solved all in one go, but he's making progress, one step at a time. But now this thing with his parents is added into the mix. It might push him to want to figure out once and for all where he comes from and where he's going. Seems like a similar take to Lisa's. Hmm. Maybe all mature adults think like this, huh? Wait, but... Then again, Master Jean had a different view. She said it's more about trusting other people and in your own instincts. It should say that. <sighs> what do you think? Uh, I'll have to face this sooner or later. I'll be there for him as a friend for this. Gotcha. Well, knowing that he's got a friend like you to rely on makes me feel much better about this whole thing. Uh, how about this? It's a problem about how... How, how do I plan okay, to approach the situation? It. Right, let's head back. We don't want to keep him waiting. <laughs> He's just staring blankly hey, at the void. Hey, Razor. So, what are your thoughts? Still thinking. My heart, it feels strange. Like being stabbed by a wolf hook. What do you think of Varka? Varka? Hmm. Tall, very strong, likes to laugh. Then do you trust Varka? Yes, trust. He's very good to me. Give me a name. 
teach me to fight. But now, busy with important work, I miss him. You know, Razor, Varka used up all the paper writing this letter, but he still made sure he found room on the back to add a note for Lisa. He specifically told her to give you the things that your parents left for you. That means that he thinks the items have a special meaning for you. But more importantly than that, whatever happens, the Traveler, Paimon, Lisa, and all your other friends will always be here for you. Alright, that was gonna be fine. That's right. And old Uncle Brown Cat's here to support you as well. Okay. Thank you. I decide... I want to go with you. To see Teacher. <laughs> That's the spirit, kiddo. Well, you folks better be heading off, then. I'm just about finished here, so I'll be heading home very shortly myself. <sighs> I'd better try and get plenty of father-daughter time in before the, uh, fine laser fest starts. <laughs> Bye, Draft! See you again next time! We brought Razor! Hello, teacher. I'm here to see the box. Ah, oh, my little wolf cub's in a good mood. I'm assuming they've discussed the whole story with you already? Oh, yeah. Here, this is it. The wooden box. I haven't touched it, except for taking it out of the cabinet. When you're sure you're ready, you can open it yourself. Yes, I am sure. Oh, this is just a pile of junk. Paimon thought there'd at least be a letter or something. Uh-oh. You don't think that, after all this time, Varka might be getting mixed up between different boxes? <laughs> there is a scent. A scent? What kind? A scent I remember from a long, long time ago. It's their scent. Human scent. Father and mother scent. Oh, incredible. You still remember scents from all the way back in your childhood. Wow. You have a really good sense of smell, Razor. Guess being wild by nature has its advantages. Oh, let's see what other leads we can find. Hmm... This woolen hand puppet looks kind of wonky. Guess it must be handmade, huh? Is this a part from a ruin guard? Wait! Hey, look! This wine bottle is still half full! And there's a note stuck on it. Thousand. Uh, Thousand Wind Wine. Oh, so it's a bottle of Thousand Wind Wine? Teacher. You know? Of course. Thousand Wind Wine was the first kind of wine that Mondstadters ever learned to make, or so they say. As to how it got its name, some say it's a reference to the numerous ingredients used to make it, while others say it's because every bottle tastes slightly different. I remember reading somewhere that there are all sorts of weird and wonderful ways of brewing it, and that it's very difficult to ensure it comes out tasting the same each time. This all makes it impractical to commercialize. Wine merchants are much more comfortable working with reliable, consistent-tasting products. That's why you'll almost never see Thousand Wind wine in the markets or taverns. Huh. In fact, it looks like your parents brewed this bottle themselves. That must mean there's something pretty important about it. Oh! Paimon has an idea! Razor, you got a good nose. 
Why don't you open it up and take a whiff? Maybe it'll tell you something. Okay. Huh. He seems really in the zone. And is that a smile? Find anything? Sweet. Cold. A little bitter. I like many things all mixed together. Ugh, but things in wine smell different. Even you can't tell what it is, Razor? I will try again. <sighs> it's okay, Razor. Don't push yourself too hard. What do we do when we try something and it doesn't work? Try another way. That's right. You still remember what I taught you. Oh, it's almost the Vine Lisa Fest. Everyone who knows anything worth knowing about wine will be gathering in Mondstadt. Surely someone will know a thing or two about Thousand Wind Wine. Oh, great idea! Coming. Make sure you don't miss the opening ceremony, cutie. Everyone will be there. Razor, you should go too. It'll be a good opportunity to ask around. Yeah, I think our first was to look. Okay. Thank ask you. many people. I will try. Don't worry. We'll be right there with you. We can be your go-betweens. You know, like you were with the wolves for draft. Mm, interesting comparison. Okay. Then I will go back now. I need to tell Lupacall about human mother and human father. Great! See you at the opening ceremony! As Razor's teacher, I'm so happy to see him taking this first step. And you must be tired from running around trying to find Razor. Why don't you rest here a while? I'll make you a nice cup of tea. Uh, two days later. Scenery is wonderful. Surely. Thank you, everyone, for your patience. I am pleased to announce that this year's Vinlesa Fest has officially begun. We hope the residents of Mondstadt and visitors from all over will enjoy the magnificent wines and experience the joy of the harvest. When Wind Coming Day arrives, we will hold a grand toasting ceremony to welcome the Animo Archon Barbados back home. Let the wind lead. Let the wind lead! Razor, you're here already! Hmm, so many people. Come on, let's sneak out of here. There's someone we gotta find. Find? Who? Oh. Just some tone deaf bard. But he's also a know-it-all and loves nothing more than drinking, so he might actually be able to help. It's a fest, the best festival for bards. Same thing, fine wines, was singing or herself. 
uh, this is the life of a bard, and that's how it's supposed to be. It's the perfect festival for getting those creative juices flowing. I really hope my pod friends from Inazuma can come and check it out as well. Uh, do some fruits. Come and buy some fresh fruit. I hope they are freshly picked and suitable for eating or wine making. I'll tell you all a little secret. At least half of the apples at the winery used to make used to make their apple cider comes from us. But I can't get that. And uh, okay, there's an actual shop there. Let's talk to the pass. I don't remember this guy. Sailing Breeze White Maker. Yes, I'm a white maker from Sailing Breeze. Came to this market specifically to purchase ingredients. You haven't heard of us at all? Uh, that's no surprise. We're an old brain, but we apparently do business overseas these days. We don't even have a shop in Monster anymore. We can't compete with that with Down Winery, but Sailing Breeze has made quite a name for itself in Azuma. Ah, okay, I think I know where that is. The girl Carpelia was so desperate to expand into the overseas market, but it was the right call in the end. Thanks to her, my skills can still be put to good use even now. Ingredients for wine brewing uh, need to be all your general goods are here for affordable prices. Let me take a look, and you are. Oh, it is the honor and night. It's a pleasure to meet you. I was doing business abroad previously, and I normally only come back during wireless fast. Uh, it's not surprise we haven't met before. If it's meant to be, I'm sure we'll meet again elsewhere. Was miss these days, not bad at all. As you can see, wireless fast is swarming with guests. I can make as much in one day here as so normally would in four or five days. This is kind of too little for a festival. I'd expect like a month's worth at least. I wish there were more lively festivals like this one. Uh, we see all sorts of fresh flowers in place here. Looking to buy a few bouquets, and you are. Uh, greetings on our night. Perhaps don't recognize me, but I'm a resident of Springvale and I run a small flower shop. Does she? I'm always busy looking after flowers and plants. I haven't had any dealings with visitors from outside the town in a long time. Never thought I'd meet a celebrity like you this year. Perhaps this good luck brought you brought by the returning wind. Uh, flowers and plants. I'm a king gardener. The plants you see here, I grew them all myself. They are less converts that are purely ornamental. And my hope is that such beautiful plants will lift everyone's spirits. However, because of their seasonal nature, uh, I can only open for business at certain times of the year. Okay, before talking to you, this guy seems to sell something. Would you like something to drink? Uh, not only are we selling wine, but we are also applying all kinds of wine making ingredients during the festival. Welcome to come around and discuss anything you're interested in. Uh, I'd like to buy some beverages. Here's the menu. Oh, there's a recipe. Mm. Okay, those two are new. Let's get one of each. If uh, I think I'll get some, let's get all of each. Now let's get another one just to be sure. What if I spend them by accident and I won't be able to get it more? About this booth, angels share participates in Violet Fest each time, and plenty of folk come all the way to Hirsch Monster to sample our limited edition wines. Back when Master Creep. Crepus was around, he'd come to us in person every year to drink a glass. I don't know why, but this festival always makes me nostalgic. Diluc, I mean Master Diluc, has had a rough go of it this past few years, but he seems to be in good spirits this year. As long as Master Diluc's well, I'm sure Master Crepus' spirits 
uh, up above will also be pleased. Hey, turn that bird! Uh, it's not nice to you again. It's been a while. Traveler, Paimon, how do you do? <laughs> I had a feeling I'd run into you soon during this most enchanting of festivals. Spoken like a true poet. No. Hmm. But reading between the lines here, if one bottle is tipsy and two is merry, just how many is enchanting exactly? <laughs> oh, don't say that. This festival has so much more to offer than just drinking. Anyway, hey, Razor. How have you been? You know him? All right. I have a question. They know each other? Yeah. Razor has something he wants to ask you about. Know anything about Thousand Wind Wine? Ooh, now there's a name that takes me back. <laughs> Let me think. How long has it been since I last heard someone mention Thousand Wind Wine? Razor's parents left him a box with a half bottle of wine inside, and there's a label on it that says Thousand Wind Wine. We heard there's a lot of history behind this type of wine, and the brewing methods go way, way back. So we figured you'd be a good person to ask. It smells good, but don't know what's inside. I see, I see. So you want to know how Thousand Wind Wine is made? Well, you came to the right person. I happen to know a little rhyme called... Well, as it happens, Thousand Wind Wine. Hmm, but from what Lisa said, wouldn't every bottle be different made? I was going to save it for wind coming day, but far be it from me to deny an early serenade to a friend in need. How about it? Shall I recite it for you? A song. Not easy to understand, but still want to hear. Excellent answer. Then, uh, hear it you shall. Fill up the barrels and store them away. Then wait, wait for a windier day. Wax the bottles, seal them tight. For the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. How does this fine wine taste to the tongue? As Mondstadt to the ear, like a sweet dream of freedom. And what are the fruits that went into the brew? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true. A defender's will, strong as yesteryear, joining the thousand winds in a song of good cheer. Turning sour into sweet, bitter notes fade away as we wait, wait for a windier day. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the applause. Uh, was the rhyme of help to you? I know, thanks. So. Like wine. A little sweet, but now head spinning. Don't understand. Don't worry, it's not just you. That was supposed to be about winemaking, but it didn't give a single detail about the process. <laughs> well, maybe it's a little abstract and romanticized, but that's one of the defining features of Mondstadt poetry. Okay, so let's try to pin this down. What did the poem say the ingredients are? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true, a defender's will, and the thousand winds? Song of good cheer? Nope. Paimon has absolutely no idea what any of these refer to. Look, Tone Deaf Bard, you clearly know what the whole thing means, so could you do us a favor and at least give us a hint? You misunderstand me. I'm not trying to make you work for it or anything, but the lyrics are what they are. If there's anything they left out, even I can't fill in the blanks. If you want to know the secret behind this sweet scent, you might have to start by rolling up your sleeves. Rolling up our sleeves? You mean we need to go and make this wine for ourselves? And somehow that'll teach us everything we want to know? Uh, this better not be a prank! We've known each other for so long, and you still don't trust my intentions? Oh, oh the pain. I trust. I want to try. I want to make wine and 
find answers. If I know how to make wine, then I know what is in father and mother's wine. Hmm, I'm not sure. Doesn't have to age for a while. Are you in their actions? Maybe we'll understand. Right. Look how people they are. I want to know or... about them. Well, if you say so, Razor, guess we'll have to take Tone Deaf Bard's word on this one. We'll give it a try. And as first time winemakers, there's no shame if it turns out bad. Don't worry, really. Freedom is the key here. It's not as hard as you might think. As long as you add ingredients to the mix in a spirit of joy and sincerity, I promise you will reap the rewards you wish for. Hmm. I will tell Poem to teach her. Yeah, he memorized that. Then I need to think alone. That's the spirit. So how about we meet again in two days? Okay. Let's say same place right here. Okay, I will remember. See you then. Uh, uh auto crisis. Secret for Shadow, Oxy Spring Veil, Hunter Animal who is busy himself with chasing force boards away. Is there any a young man who is dressed like a standard for some marrow? Uh, so now there are some quests for us to do. Mm. There are a ton of sellers at the Vine Laser Fest. Should be some pretty cool stuff to check out, right? Let's go and browse while we still have the chance! Ah, oh, good. I was hoping we might get to chat some more. Boy, I'm again. You need a refresher? Okay, I'll perform the first half again. Fill up the barrels, and how does this fine wine, the defender's will? Hey, what are your thoughts on violence? I am fond of each and every one of Mondstadt's festivals, but if I'm honest, Vinelazefest has an extra special place in my heart. You know. The Animo Archon goes into a slumber after the west wind dies down, leaving the north wind to blow during the winter. Which means this festival is the big feast before the winter slumber. Uh, will you hibernate? I wouldn't Should worry I... yourself too much about him. Staying true to their journey and discovering joy and freedom for themselves is what Mondstatters do best. The same goes for you. You have to find the thing that makes you happy. <laughs> Mostly because your happiness is very important to me. Bye. See you around. Remember, there's no rush. Take your time and you'll find all the answers that you're looking for. There's no rush, but this is a time event, so you have to complete it in a certain time. Uh, hey, you moved. Let's go for birds, sink my lines, same thing, okay. Well, let's continue this part of the quest. Oh. I'll do the others afterwards. more like something you do the razor fair enough you're right let's keep waiting well since we've got some time on our hands let's put our heads together and try to figure out that poem tone deaf bard mentioned some ingredients but they all sounded super abstract 
an explorer's courage, a love tender and true, a defender's will, and the thousand winds song of good cheer. Do you have any ideas? And those are ingredients. And it's for the blind character. Okay, let's go for it. That's even more abstract. How do we go about looking for this wine's character? Where do we start? The Demetrius Guild, the Church for Warriors. Huh? Are you saying that it has something to do with Mondstadt's institutions? Yes, and it's for the word Defender. It makes me think of Knights for Honius. Okay. Wow, that actually makes a surprising amount of sense. So the poem wasn't talking about any specific ingredients after all. More like the general gist. Now that you mention it, it just so happens that all the institutions you mentioned are organizers of the Violaza Fest. Wait, this is way too big of a coincidence. That tone deaf bard, did he just make all this up on the spot? Perhaps he did, as a way of helping us to help raise In that case, the last part about the Thousand Winds Song of Cheer must be code for the toasting ceremony. Oh, now we're cooking! We'll crack your riddle recipe yet, Tone Deaf Bard! When Razor gets here, let's visit all the places you mentioned and talk to some people we know there. We definitely should be able to find some more clues that way. Mr. Honorary Knight, Paimon! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm late. I understand why. That's alright. We were just chatting. Did anybody die? The Traveler's pretty smart, so thanks to him, we're finally on to something! Hello, Klee. Hi. I was on my way, then I saw Klee. They let me out for Vinalaza Fest! <laughs> Alpedo is super busy helping Timaeus fix his recipe for an extra strong sobriety potion, mm. so he doesn't have time to come play with me right now. I'm just playing by myself instead. But it's so cool! All the grown-ups in Mondstadt are out to celebrate the festival! Everyone's smiling and having loads of fun! I wanted to join in too, so I made a whole bunch of stuff so I can celebrate with everyone in my very own way. Very own way? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, this does not bode well coming from Glee. And that's when I bumped into Razor! Okay, so boom, crisis advantage. Razor was acting kind of different than usual, like he was thinking about something. So I asked him what happened. And then Razor said that he was looking for his mommy. <laughs> I did not say mommy. <laughs> oh, it's okay, silly. Mommies are important people, so finding your mommy is a super important job. That's why Klee's gonna come help. <sighs> Razor! Razor! Finally, I found you! Bennett? Oh! <laughs> Look who's here! Hey, everyone! Here, this is for you! Oh. Okay, I clicked. Uh, a small lamp grass? Come on, it's Spanish. That's the best it could. Yep, that's right. I tripped up on it this morning and took a little tumble. I did a full face plant, but somehow this little thing came out completely unscathed. That's when I knew it was destined to go into your wine mix. Uh. Bennett, how did you manage to trip up on a small lamp grass? Huh, that's true. They do glow after all. To be fair, they only glow at night. No, no. I wasn't talking about the glowing. What I meant was, they're really big and easy to spot. So, I don't get how you didn't see it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was just running too fast and got careless, I guess. Okay, I guess maybe I won't tell them about the other face plants that came after that. Anyway, I've been all over the place trying to find Razor this morning. Everyone I asked told me I just missed him. Good thing I've caught up now. I can finally catch my breath. What a trooper. Thanks. How did you know I need ingredients? 
Oh, that? Yeah, interesting story. This lady came to see Master Cyrus, asking for the Adventurer Guild's support with the Vine Lace Fest. She said she was a librarian. Anyway, she mentioned your situation too, and asked if we could help. Yo, didn't you recognize Lisa? Isn't she kind of famous around town? Whoa! Lisa is doing some real work for once? Oh, so that was Lisa? People say she's crazy intelligent, but just doesn't go out much. First time I've ever seen her. Mm. I thought long and hard about what ingredients to pick, and came up with a load of suggestions that I was going to discuss with you. But then I realized that small lamp grass was clearly the best. It shines a light to guide the way for explorers in the dark. Doesn't that sound like a wonderful thing? Oh, apologies for the trouble. Ah, don't give me that. I get how you must be feeling about all of this. Besides, you gotta help out your friends, right? If my family, uh, well, my dad's ever needed help one day, I know you'd be there for me too. Yes. Can I help too? Please take me with you, please. I want to join in. Please in high spirits today. She seems more excited by this festival than anyone. Bennett, before now, you never talk about your family. Uh, <laughs> well, that's because I never met my parents. I was raised by some of the older adventurers in the guild, so we're not exactly a typical family. But if you do want to hear about them, I can tell you some of my dad's stories. Hmm. Okay, I'll start with the most awesome one. Oh, Bennett. You can be Mommy's kid, just like Klee. My mom is super nice. She'll take great care of you. Huh? Hmm. I really appreciate the thought, Klee, but I'm afraid I can't accept your offer. I already have my dads and all my friends. And let's not forget that I'm the leader of Benny's adventure team. You don't need to worry about me. Oh, okay. I got it. Um, then have this! Hey, isn't that the... A jumpy donkey? Yeah! It's a lazy, dopey, jumpy dumpty that always dozes and never explodes. I hope you guys can be best friends. Oh, she's going to kill Are him. Are you sure? That's definitely going to explode with jumpy him. Jumpy dumpty will be happy to make a new friend, too. I also happy for you. I still have to look for ingredients razor and then to go and make her together. Good idea! Maybe Klee will bring Bennett some good luck and the adventure will go smoothly. And you might just find some treasures you'd never noticed before. And, and this is the last time we ever talked. It's so highly possible that Klee will be the only one who gets lucky. Yeah, she'll kill Bennett. Still, on the flip side, Klee won't be getting into any trouble with Bennett there, and this way she'll still get to enjoy the Vinylisa Fest. Cool. Don't worry about a thing. We'll look after each other. Yay! Adventure! Treasure! Vinylisa Fest! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> oh, wait, but what about Wolfie? Wolfie... Uh, I mean, Razor needs looking after. Honorary Knight, Paimon, you'd better take care of Razor, okay? Make sure he finds his mommy. <laughs> Be careful. Good luck. See you later, folks. Yes, 
These days, I think a lot. I am not smart. Not like teacher. Not like traveler. But I still have to think. Everyone is ready to help, but some things I must do myself. I don't understand human father and mother, but I must find a way to understand. Maybe I can learn about other people's father and mother first, then think about my own father and mother. That's why I want to ask questions. That's great! Keep at it and you'll definitely find the answer eventually. Never knew Bennett is like me. When he talks about dads, his scent changes. Warm, like a bed of straw in the sun. That's why more people choose pictures. Yeah, we should head back into the city. Let's find a friendly face at the Church of Favonius. Hmm. Now, who does Razor know best at the church? Excuse me? I couldn't help but overhear you're about to head back into the city. Is that right? I'm waiting on a fruit cart from the city. It should be here now, but I'm getting worried that something may have happened on the way. But I can't leave the festival to check up on it. On Would you be able to do me a huge favor and keep an eye out for the, the cart path. on your way back? Um, well, if it's on the way... Yeah, I was going to teleport. Okay, we go. I go too. Everyone helps me. Now I have chance to help everyone. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Wait! Honorary Knight! And Paimon, the best guide in Tevat. I humbly beg for your assistance. Is this a side quest? Whoa! Did Paimon hear that right? Is Paimon finally starting to make a name for herself? Oh, wait. Haven't we met? Uh, yes, in the main hall, plans of Falcon's headquarters, have we? That's right! I am Bernhard, a member of the logistics company under Captain Hertha. Yeah, Normally, about. I would hope to become better acquainted before asking for a favor like this, but time's running out, so I really have no choice. Please help me rescue the charity event. Rescue? The charity event? Oh, right! Master Jean mentioned that. So, what happened? Well, the Knights of Favonius wants to run a stall during the festival. The idea is for all profits from the sales to go to charity. Specifically, the funds will provide support to disadvantaged children and elderly citizens. We drew lots to decide whose job it would be, and as it happened, I was the lucky winner. I really didn't want to screw this up, so I asked all around for advice, but my experience is in inventory and shipping. Now I'm supposed to run a whole shop, but it took me forever just to think of what to sell. I'm already completely out of my depth. And that is why I humbly beseech you to render your assistance. I understand. Everyone has things he's trying. Yeah. Also, no need to be so formal. So, you said this is to help out the kids and old folks of Mondstadt, right? Sounds like a great cause. He's an honorary knight, and Paimon's a longtime friend of Favonius. We'll be more than happy to do our part. What do you need from us? Oh, I can't thank you enough. Right, let me get down to brass tacks. Before we can open shop, we need to amass a supply of fair brew jellies. This is the basic currency that we will use when running the stall. Mm -hmm. The wine merchants in the area are in dire need of raw ingredients for winemaking. Sell them raw ingredients, and they will pay you generously in fair brew jellies. Uh. Also, there are some international customers looking to purchase beverages in bulk during the Vine Lace Fest period. They're on the market for an agent to handle their purchase orders. In the interest of establishing a long-term business relationship, these customers are usually willing to offer a generous price, and there's also room for negotiation with the wine merchants. The price difference is ours to keep as commission, and you can cash that amount in for fair brew jellies. So to sum up, our job is to sell ingredients to the wine merchants and place orders for the international customers, making sure to negotiate the price, right? Huh. Sounds much easier than Paimon imagined. R really? Well, that's wonderful. 
I have one order here with me already. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Shavirme from Sumeru wishes to purchase 50 crates of fruits of the festival. These beverages can be bought from the Angel's share stand. Uh, the shopkeeper's name is Georg. He's a very nice man, but he won't be pushed around. Please consider the price carefully and try to reach a good deal with Georg. I should carry on setting up the stall now. Once you've gathered enough fair brew jellies, come back here and we'll take it from there. You won't need to worry about supplies for the shop. I'm already in contact with the suppliers, and they'll send everything over once the funds are in place. All right, sounds good. We'll find the funds and you sort out the shop. This is an enormous help. Thank you both ever so much. Yeah, you stopped me halfway through another quest. I'll do your job later. Ah, there are more shops over here. This way. Oh, Paimon sees the cart, but what are these hilly trolls doing here? Do they want some fresh fruit now, too? To the rescue! Wind strike! <sighs> Finally! These hilly churls are a little too obsessed with food for their own good. But never mind that. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? Phew. I'm fine, thanks to you. You are just in time. Any later and all you found here is a pile of pulp. And I don't think there'd be much left of the fruit either. Mm. Just in time, you were already late. Just waiting for you at the festival. Got it. Well, thanks again. I'd better not delay this delivery any longer. So, goodbye and happy Vine Lace Fest. Thanks to you too, kiddo. <sighs> mm, what is this, Razor? Enemy following. Enemy. Enemy? <laughs> I think we're a little closer than that. On some level, you could even say that we're brother and sister. Are you? Rosaria? What the heck are you doing here? Uh, wait. Actually, turning up at random places is pretty normal for you. Okay, next question. What the heck do you mean, brother and sister? Varka taught you how to use that sword, I take it. Swift, but powerful. <laughs> I can spot that old-timer's style anywhere. Uh, huh? I see you're not much of a talker. <laughs> well, there's something else you could learn from Varka. Never lost for words, even when he has nothing to say. It'd be good conversation practice for you. Just a shame we have no idea when I'll be back. It's okay. I will wait. Brother and sister? Varka? Oh, Paimon gets it. Varka is a father figure to both of them, so that makes them family. Just not by blood. Well, blood relations are overrated anyway, don't you think? But then she should be part of the knights instead of the church. I think the bond of blood is a strong one. I get it. In the final moments of your life, the people there with you won't necessarily be your blood relatives. Cold, dark, grown-up. You also don't remember what your real mother and real father look like? Huh. So you're helping him dig up some info on his biological parents, and trying to help him build a concept of family along the way. Uh, just get her some reference material. All right, you got me. I barely have any memories of my birth parents. The last time I saw them was long before I had any understanding of the world around me. But that seems pretty common. Even in this day and age, there are plenty of people in the world who can't stop thinking about their families, but will never get to see them. 
Anyway, if you're never gonna meet someone, it's not worth spending mental energy on them. It's more important to focus on the kind of person you want to become. No, you are wrong about this. Lupacol protect each other. Human family also important. Must care about them. Fine. So let's say you do find out who your parents were and they were saints. Or the opposite, they were complete monsters. What then? How would that affect your life choices? What would you do about it? Um... Whew, Rosaria's take is a little on the nose. That's a hard one for Razor to answer. It's not much to be curious. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to make this any more difficult than it already is. But Razor's feeling lost and confused right now. And all the other Mondstatters we know are too sunny and bright to tell it like it really is. The sun nurtures many good things, but it can't do anything about the problems lurking in the shadows. Wow, Rosaria. All right, I'll leave it there. <laughs> Take this flower. It's icy cold, just like me. Okay, and that ingredient. Barbara's busy preparing the sung poetry event for the Vine Lace Fest. She couldn't get away, so I picked an ingredient out on behalf of the church. But can we really use a mist flower? Won't it freeze the entire barrel? No, not now that I've dealt with it. The bard did say to think freedom, didn't he? So go on, take it. It won't be a problem. Aw, Rosaria! You're more thoughtful than Paimon realized! <laughs> uh, wait! You heard the bard say that? Were you spying on us? Thank you. Don't mention it. It's nothing. Varka's been a big help to me in the past, so just consider it returning a favor. Besides, if I'm your older sister, I might as well act like it. Good luck finding your answers. Now you see her, now you don't. I'm slowly getting used to her style. Oh, oh well, as love tender and true goes, that was... Pretty awkward, but still counts, right? Now that's left is the Knights of Avonius. <sighs> Razor, are you still thinking about what Rosaria said? You will wait another two days. Her words are like mist flower. They are cold, and they sting. But cold also good for wounds, like wolf hook. I need to think about it maybe then i will understand mm, it takes some time there's no need to rush okay it. i will come with you i think while we walk mm. is he going to say something no no Time to go. So you see, you're the best person for this. Oh, just in time. Lisa and I were just talking about Razor's situation. Where were we? Ah, yes. The barrel. Huh? But, uh, obviously the nuts part is supposed to be a defender's will, but what kind of ingredient is a barrel? Mm, obviously, that's all he made. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> oh, Paimon, don't worry. You'll get your ingredient. I've already tasked someone with sorting it out. The person is very conscientious and wants to properly research their contribution, so it may take some time, but hopefully it'll be worth the wait. As for the barrel, 
How else were you planning on mixing all the ingredients? Oh. Surely not in the giant cooking pot at Dada Upa Gorge. Mm -hmm. uh, but the ingredients for the knives, we could just have something for promptly. That would probably be fast. The memories. That would be a suspicious, doesn't we? After One. much deliberation, I realized this was a job for the most sociable and savviest member in our ranks, the cavalry captain. So I asked him to take a trip to the Dawn Winery and somehow bring back a wine barrel. Uh, all right, spare me the flattery, Lisa. We're all friends here, and I know you're only trying to help your student. But I haven't been back there in a long time. This could be quite difficult to accomplish in just a single trip. Difficult for you? Don't be silly. Negotiating is your biggest strength. Fine Lisa Fest is one of the most important festivals in Mondstadt, and you know how Diluc thinks better than anyone. Just drop a few little hints, like how this is the first festival Mondstadt has had in a long time. We're short on much needed supplies for a multitude of reasons. Oh, who can help us? Uh, can we just ask? him for a barrel. When he, he hears that, has some I guarantee you he'll offer to help out with finances and sourcing goods. Mm. Lisa's literally trying to extort Master Diluc. Hmm. I suppose. All right. I'll head out right away. Well, he didn't take much persuading. Oh, and Paimon was just about to thank Lisa for the things she's been doing for Razor behind the scenes. Oh, Paimon doesn't even know whose side to be on anymore. <sighs> Traveler and teacher did a lot for me. A lot of work. But me, I still can't answer questions. So useless. Dear me, what's gotten you so upset, my little wolf cub? We can't have you being so down in the dumps. No questions you can stop thinking about. Ah, I see. Hmm, cutie, how about you keep Kaya company while I stay here and help Razor process his feelings? As his teacher, I owe him some tutelage anyway. Come and collect him in a few days' time. The last ingredient should be ready by then as well. Splendid. I was just thinking about how nice it would be to have some company on my trip. I don't know what is right, but... I trust teacher. I accept. That's a plane. Run along now. And don't forget to tell D. Luke that the Knights of Favonius send our regards. Maybe it was just say hi interaction with D. Luke. My heart feels like rotten berries. So sour. I don't understand what I should do. Oh, all right. I'll teach you a very special magic trick that can make all your troubles disappear in the blink of an eye. But before we do that, let's warm up with something a little bit easier, hmm? Let's practice some talking. That way, the next time somebody helps you, or you have a different opinion from the rest of the group, you'll be able to express what you think clearly and precisely. Okay. I will do my best. I'm sorry. My mind was elsewhere. What was your question? Ugh. Never mind. Nothing that important. Master 
Lady Diluc? Oh. I was just wondering who'd be coming all the way out here during the Vine Laser Fest. So, it's you two. <sighs> and you, too. Brr, so cold. Almost enough to make me feel unwelcome here, Master Diluc. Don't forget that this is my home, too. I'm fairly certain that taking a trip home during festival season is a universal custom, common to all the cultures of Tevat. Please get to the point. The point is one that you've already raised yourself. The Vinlesa Fest. To celebrate this long-awaited festival, the Acting Grand Master has been coordinating with both the Church and the Adventurers Guild to host a series of events. Unfortunately, given the financial situation of the Knights of Favonius, well, I'm sure you can imagine. And the Knights of Favonius's woes have what exactly to do with me? Hey, no need to be so cruel. Even I'm not going to take that. Everyone's just doing the best they can for Mondstadt. Now, I can't remember the last time I tasted Don Winery's Vinlesa Fest special. And I'm sure the Mondstadt populace would echo this sentiment. Are you going to deny others the opportunity to drink to their heart's content just because you don't like to drink yourself? Check it out! Kaya's not so subtly asking for freebies. He's actually doing it! Anyway, speaking of the knights, everyone dearly hopes that you'll rejoin our ranks again one day. Then we'll be one big happy family again. If we were able to enjoy the sterling reputation of Master Diluc, my... I'm sure people would be queuing for our charity booth all the way to Falcon Coast. <sighs> Give that silver tongue of yours a rest. You might need it to maintain public order at the festival. Duly noted on the financial issues you raised. I'll have Elzer follow up with Hertha in more detail. And I just so happen to have a batch of wine that I can offer as a token of appreciation to everyone that has been working so hard for the festival. Shall I address it to you personally? That would be an absurd request, even for me. The words, with compliments from the Dawn Winery, ought never be preceded by, to the cavalry captain. Is that not the unwritten rule? You're better informed than I thought. In that case, I will leave this with Adeline and keep everything anonymous. I really can't thank you enough. Master Diluc is so generous. That's all Paimon needs to get that warm, fuzzy feeling. Uh, which is just as well, since you won't be allowed to drink a drop. Huh. Are you two here regarding the Vine Laser Fest, too? Uh, actually, we're here about Razor. Would you look that you helping Razor make thousand with wine? Poor Razor. He grew up so fast, and he's still looking for his father. Master Diluc, we really ought to lend him a hand. How come Klee said he's looking for his mom, but Kaya says he's looking for his dad? It might make more sense to them, but it's gonna get confusing for everyone else. It's okay. I understand. We have a spare barrel in the winery. It's a little old, but it's been specially treated for durability. You could leave it next to a flaming flower all day and there wouldn't be a scratch. I think that one should satisfy your needs. Sounds great! We'll take it! When can we come fetch it? No need. I'll have someone deliver it to the festival market. Just collect it from the Angel's Share stand. Okay. Aww, you always make things so nice and easy for us, Master Diluc. <laughs> Thanks a lot! Razor will really appreciate it. You're more than welcome. Helping each other is what friends do. Wonderful. Always eager to help, and never forgets to return a favor. That's the Master D. Luke I know. Oh, it's nearly dinner time. Uh, would you care to stay for a meal? How time flies. I'll be on my way then. <laughs> How did you put it? Ah, oh, yes. Taking a trip home during festival season is a universal custom, common to all the cultures of Tevat. 
Now that even Master Diluc has made an offer, are you quite sure you won't stay for a meal after coming all this way, Master Kaya? I couldn't possibly, Adeland. I wouldn't want to trouble you. Oh, don't say that. How often do I get a chance to indulge my dear Master Kaya, hmm? Tea for the cavalry captain when you visit in an official capacity doesn't count. I only get to spoil you if you let me cook for you. Oh, uh... Well then, what happened to your swagger? <laughs> Lost for words? <laughs> Diluc, you... Surely you wouldn't dream of disappointing Adeland. All right, then. I'll take you up on the offer. Adeland, one more set of cutlery, please, if you'd be so kind. The dice to the son of guys. Ooh, Just... Paimon's so full. Adeland's cooking's amazing. Everything looked and tasted so beautiful. Thank you for your uh, hospitality. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join again anytime. Oh? Then I may have to tag along on the Traveler's Adventures more often in the future. Ugh, Kai is back to his usual ways. All right, now that our task is complete and our bellies are full, it's time for me to get back to work. Take care, Master Kaya. Have a safe trip back. We should get going as well. Lisa's taking care of Razor, but the Vinelays of Fest can't do without us. See you next time, Master D. Luke. Indeed. Goodbye. Family, huh? <sighs> Don't mind me. You should probably head back and get some rest. I'm not the most familiar with Razor, but you can contact me if you ever need help. Yeah, but I think the two of them will get along well. It's been a long time since I saw Masters Diluc and Kaya sharing a meal together. The atmosphere was... <clears throat> was not something that a maid of my lowly stature should be commenting on. Lowly stature? She... Thank you so much for visiting. I hope to see you again soon. She's basically the boss around here. Uh, we don't have those letters anymore, do we? No, it was only during that. Those letters from Kaya should have stayed here. They were quite important to Diluc's backstory. I could just the parts. Oh. No, not the parts. We need two, two days again. Hmm. Paimon wonders how 
Razor's class has been going. Uh, Sucrose, wait! Yeah, we're meeting everybody here. Come on. Damn, that's the first time we're, we're meeting Noelle outside of her hangout quest. Damn. What took so long? Honorary Knight, Paimon, please stop her. Whoa, you scared Paimon! What's gotten the two of you so worked up? Sucrose and I agreed to present the wine ingredient to you together. But when she heard that Razor will be showing up, she insisted that she won't spend a moment longer here than she has to. Hi. I... I'm not good at dealing with strangers. Anyway, as long as the ingredient gets into the right hands, that's all that matters. Oh, that won't do. We worked on this together, and we should present it together. I can't take credit for what you did. Uh, is she part of the knights as well? I mean, Albedo is, and she works for him sometimes, I guess. It's not about the credit. But I don't remember if she was. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Wait, she, she does so work. Does this mean the knights of Avonius's ingredient is a product of bile alchemy? Yes. It's a quadruple sweetness sunsetia. What? I'm gonna give him diabetes like that. Quadruple sweetness? But aren't regular ones sweet enough as it is? Also, why is sunsetia? Okay, um, let me give you the full story. I love the scent of wine. And after reading up on the art of winemaking, I have grasped some of the key principles. In short, whatever ingredients you use, it's essential to include something sweet. In an attempt to select the most suitable ingredient, I gathered samples of all the sweet plants and fruits I could find in the Mondstadt area. Then, I tried them all in turn and took detailed notes. I also factored in the differences between the same ingredient grown in different locations. For instance, sweet flowers from Springvale are a little sweeter than those at Cape Oath. Wow, that sounds like a lot of work. It was no problem at all. Just my duty as a maid of Favonius. Uh, not really. The chance to source the Defender's will on behalf of the Knights of Favonius is a huge honor for me. Noelle, your eyes are sparkling. But Paimon thinks it could be because of Lisa's brainwashing. <laughs> Um, anyway, I, I was worried that my evaluation would be too subjective if only I were involved. Thankfully, I ran into Sucrose the other day on her way out of the lab. Oh no! What is it, Sucrose? I just remembered why I left the lab that day. I was supposed to go and fetch some lab equipment we imported recently. Oh. Uh-oh. That look on your face seems to say you forgot all about it and have been in the lab this whole time. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm so sorry. <sighs> Don't worry about it. It's my fault, really. I'll go and see Marjorie about the equipment shortly. Carry on, Noelle. Oh, okay. Anyway... Sucrose is a true professional when it comes to this kind of research. I showed her my list, and she made some extremely valuable suggestions. Please, you don't need to go out of your way to compliment me. Noelle filled me in on the background of the whole situation. I was moved to see how seriously she took this task, even though she'd never even met Razor before. However, none of the potential ingredients she had identified were perfect candidates, in my opinion. What we needed was a fruit high in sugar, and easily fermentable. After a final look at Noelle's list, I picked the Sunsetia sample from near Cider Lake as a basis, with a view to improving it. Using bioalchemical techniques, we were able to amplify the sweetness, then conduct a few tests to compare the results against the benchmarks. Watching Sucrose work on an experiment when she's in the zone blew me away. Such focus and determination. I already said don't compliment me. Anyway, 
The result of our research is the Epsilon series Tetrasweets and Sedia, Variation 63. And it's finally ready. The sweetness has been verified through rigorous testing, and the size and color are both optimal, too. Noah will shorten the name to Quadruple Sweetness and Sedia. Unfortunately, it can't be produced on a very large scale under the current conditions. But as long as we have enough for Razor. This will be smart and sufficient. Can I have a little white just taste? Hey, what's wrong with you? Come on, must be Traveler, close. there's something else I'd like to share with you. Growing up, I was lucky. I was never the best at dealing with other people, but my parents never placed any expectations on me. They never said to me, you need to be more sociable or anything like that. They just said I should do what I enjoy. So, I'm well aware that I'm one of the lucky ones. I haven't lived Razor's life, and I can't pretend to imagine what it must have been like. So, I don't know how much it will mean coming from me, but I truly hope he can find happiness and spend his life doing what he loves. Oh, so gross. Sorry, I am late yeah, again. Sure. Teacher forgot about the time, I kept talking and talking. That's all right, we were just chatting. Whoa, deja vu. Paimon said the exact same thing two days ago. Uh, wait a sec, where did Sucrose go? Wow, she disappeared the moment he opened the door. Hello. I'm Noelle, maid of the Knights of Favonius. Hi. Here's our ingredient for you. Oh, but I can't take full credit for it. I had help from an alchemist, but right now, she, um... It's a little piece of work. Right, yes. It's a shame she couldn't be here to present it to you in person. <sighs> Smells like potion, nectar, and animal crystal fly, right? Nothing gets past your nose, does it? This Sunsetia is sweeter than ones I have smelled before. Klee said alchemy is amazing. It can make things better. That's right. I hope that this sweet fruit will help you brew the sweetest wine. Hey, alchemy girl also had a message to press on. It's been her life to watch a lot. Thank you all. When she has time, I want to thank her also. Leave that to me. I'll figure out a way to persuade her to, uh, to not work so hard all the time so that I can introduce you to each other. <laughs> okay, I will wait. All right, now that we have all the ingredients, we can finally start making the wine. For that, we'll need a barrel, which if Paimon remembers correctly is waiting for us at the Angel Share Stand. Bye, Noelle. We're gonna head off now. Good luck with everything. See you next time. Overall, I think this task was a success. Oh no! Sucrose's lab equipment! I should go help her carry it! Uh, in she vanish. Hmm. It's Lisa Rob. Ah, there are people from the zombie here, no? Ah! It's a million karma. Ah, from the quest. I gotta talk to them later. No. Kind of weird because John is so much older. Wow, it's Diana! Paimon was sure 
run into you at the cat's tail stand sometime, oh. but so far we haven't seen you all festival. No, actually, yeah, at least probably older than all of us, but uh, yeah, but she's less grown up. Ooh, traitors. Uh, um, uh, okay. what? Mm. Oh yeah, this is the first... Yeah, we met her on the hangout. Uh, that's right. <gasps> Kree told me the whole story. So, this bright idea was a brainchild of you two? Hmm. How could you? Razor is daddy's friend. And he was a good influence. Right up until you got him interested in wine. Razor, you better promise me that you won't turn into one of those old booze hounds that drinks themselves silly slumps over the bar and bursts into tears. I, uh, I don't understand. Sounds like there's been some crossed wires here. Cree, what exactly did you say to Diona? Um, I told her that Razor is looking for his mommy with the honorary knight's help, and you both seemed really sad and said you needed some wine so maybe Diona could help. But before I finished, Diona said, Clee, say no more. I'm getting involved in this if it's the last thing I do. And then we came here. Uh... Uh, okay. Hyman doesn't even know where to start. Um, Diona, it sounds like Klee left out a few important details in the story. Let us set the record straight. Your explain situation, Diona. So you're saying Razor wants to make the same wine that his mother and father once made? So he can learn more about them? Hmm. You better not be making this up to try to pull the wool over my eyes. Absolutely not. Sorry, Diona. It was all Clee's fault for not explaining it properly. So, are you still mad? Or can you help Razor make the wine? I caught a bunch of fish for us to eat. Um, and you can pack Dodoko too if you want. <laughs> I... I wasn't that angry. You were just trying to help. I understand. I just don't want Razor being led astray, that's all. That's why I may have raised my voice a little bit just now. Mm. Well, since none of you plan on drinking it, then I suppose I can help you just this once, despite my reservations. But I need you to know that I'm a mixer, not a brewer. So I'm used to working with the finished product. If you really want me to start with a bunch of raw ingredients, eh, that's fine. But I can't make any promises about how it'll turn out. Yeah, it'll be fine now. Diona is the best! <laughs> yeah, don't worry, Diona, you got this. <laughs> bunch of flatterers. Now watch this. Yeah, put your signature mix and oh, wash done. the that was Wow, quick. that's a nice garbo. Now we just need to find a place to store it. There's a barrel. Doesn't we the barrel work as storage? Wait for a windier day. Hmm. Does that mean we need to put it somewhere exposed to the wind? Uh, the mountains. Maybe wind rise? Very windy. Yep, if you say the word windy, that's the first place on every monster's mind. Cool, I want to come too. I have to keep an eye on my foolish father, so I won't be joining you. Klee, come and play again some other time. I will, I promise. Oh, she's in here now? Everybody else, I could talk to once more. Hang on, her father. <laughs> Time to 
Time to go. No, he's just here, as usual. Well, I thought here will be windier than just by the name. It's a higher place. Ah, hmm. oh, what a curious coincidence meeting you here. Mm -hmm. Dr. Bard, what are you doing here? You know stuff. Well, I awoke to the most magnificent aroma in the air. Uh. After following the sweet scent of fresh fruit to its source, this is where I ended up. Yeah, the fruit is super fresh and super duper sweet. I can smell it as well. Mm. <laughs> There's another reason, isn't there? Yes. Oh, uh, I remembered something important. Something that you have to do before sealing the barrel and burying it in the ground. Mm. What? We missed something? Razor, do you still remember the scent of that half bottle of Thousand Wind wine? I believe there was a hint of bitterness in there. Yes, there was. <laughs> and with very good reason, too. The source? This. Dandelion seeds. Mm. You're familiar with dandelion wine, right? Well, the people of Mondstadt believe that the wind can bring back the soul and also preserve memories. Dandelion seeds are like living gemstones, formed from the first wisps of wind in the year. People add them to the mix at the last second as a way of capturing the wind in the very moment that the barrel is sealed. The memory of that moment is then stored in the wine for all time. So, Thousand Wind Wine is the original dandelion wine. Wow! That's so cool! So now story will be made into wine too as for why it always has a different scent well that's because people have the freedom to include whatever ingredients they want <laughs> hmm. what is it razor what you thinking about uh about this any ingredient we want shouldn't we have some choices and watch it Yes. In mother and father's wine, I can smell dandelion seeds, but I don't know what else. In my wine, there is a lot of friendship. I still don't understand my mother and father, but I still have you and everyone else. Everyone has done so much for me. Farka, teacher, Klee, Bennett, Uncle Brown Cat, Cold Lady, Grown Up with Fake Smile. Grown Up with Fake Smile. Uh. Gray <laughs> Tough Girl, Person That Smells Like Animal Crystal Fly, Uncle Brown Cat's Daughter. Green Bard, Paimon, and Traveler. I remember everyone. Making wine is hard work. Making this wine needed everyone working together. Hard work with friends, not so hard after all. I'm, I'm so happy. Oh, I should help. Thank you. Friends are also Lupacall. Whether I'm human or I'm wolf, it doesn't matter. From now on, all of us are together. When I grow up, we will come back here and we will open this wine together. Oh, I think they're setting up for some flash of three years what from now. What a magnificent monologue. Even as a bard, I don't feel like there's anything else to add. All that remains now is to bury the barrel and wait, wait for the fruit to ferment. Fruit bears the barrel. We're finally house. done! Paimon feels like a celebration is in order. Um, if Paimon remembers correctly, tomorrow should be wind coming day, right? 
Wow! The animal god is coming home! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that reminds me. I haven't memorized the song for the toasting ceremony yet. <laughs> I'd better get back. Friends, I shall see you all tomorrow. Get a good night's sleep tonight. Wait for the whisper of the gentle breeze to rouse you tomorrow morning. Then come and enjoy a performance by the greatest bard to ever grace the streets of Mondstadt. Mm -hmm. Through the pile of dirt where the wine is hidden. The wine made by you and your friends has been buried. Wait for it to slowly age into beverage. Most fine. Razor, you were so cool back there. Cool, but inside, I feel warm. <laughs> no, not like that. When you think something's awesome, you can say it's cool or sweet. Oh, hmm, but I think Clea is sweet. Uh, what's your following name? shown up to welcome the animal Archon! Uh-huh? Why is everyone crowded around the Angel Share stand? Tradition holds that the finest wine of the Vinelesa Fest only goes on sale after the Animo Archon has tasted it at the toasting ceremony. Everyone's waiting hey. in line for the big moment. Um, uh, but isn't that supposed to happen almost every year? Ugh. So welcoming the animal Archon back is just a means to an end for them, huh? What about you, Lisa? Are you here for Razor? Yes, I was feeling a little concerned about him, but I just spoke with him, and he tells me that the winemaking went very smoothly. Ah, <sighs> such a relief. A glass of the festival's finest will go down smoothly now, too. Wow, you too, huh? Yes. <laughs> Razor and the others are over there. You should go say hi. Hey, hey! There you are! Whoa! What's with all these bottles? Selling your own homebrew now? <laughs> these are for Razor. From us. Mommy said that everyone's welcoming the animal god today, and we need to give him some wine. If the animal god likes the wine, he'll turn into the wind and bless everyone. We want the animal god to be happy, so he helps Razor. <laughs> oh, honorary knight! Look what Albedo let me borrow. This bottle is from my dad. Luckily, I managed not to break it on the way here. <laughs> uh, it's just for show, though. I have to give it back to them afterwards. Mommy said that the animal god can drink a lot of wine. She said if he wanted to, he could drink the whole of Cider Lake in one big gulp. So, do you think we'd have enough between these and the wine raiser's parents left behind? Ah! Green Bard. Uh, uh. Everyone, I am greatly honored to be able to be here today. I have been invited by Acting Grand Master Jean of the Knights of Favonius to perform a piece for everyone. Thousand Wind Wine. It is some of the finest verse I know. I dedicate it to the wind and to everyone here with us today. 
Fill up the barrels and store them away. Then wait, wait for a windier day. Wax the bottles, seal them tight. For the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. How does this fine wine taste to the tongue? As Mondstadt to the ear, like a sweet dream of freedom. And what are the fruits that went into the brew? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true. A defender's will, strong as yesteryear. Joining the thousand winds in a song of good cheer. Turning sour into sweet, bitter notes fade away as we wait, wait for a windier day. Pray tell, what treasure does this barrel hold? Tis wheat's greatest triumph, the true liquid gold. As it flows from the keg, what sound drifts by? Wind chimes in the boundless immemorial sky. We raise up our glasses and voices in song as we wait, wait for the wind to sing along. Where do we turn once the thousand winds take flight? To the tales of the lyre, to the sweet dream of tonight. Yeah. Dear friends, let us now open the wines. To the Animal Archon! To the Animal Archon. Yeah. I could. I wish I had a similar option there. Um. There's no wind. Don't feel sad, Clee. But why didn't he come? If the animal god didn't come home, is it because he doesn't like the wine we brought for him? I don't think so. Of course not. You know, Clee, the wind isn't the only form that the animal archon can turn into. He can turn into anything. So today, he must have come back looking like something else. Huh? Really? Maybe he turned into a Chumpy Dumpty. Sure, Chumpy Dumpty it is. Hope you're listening, Animal Archon. <laughs> Racer, did the Animal Archon bring you a blessing? Yes. I talked a lot with you all. And I learned a lot. Now, I am not afraid. I think that is a blessing. Don't forget to save me a glass of your wine once it's finished fermenting. I guess I'm true. Yes, we share together and we remember together. Yay! <laughs> but now I'm getting thirsty. We've all done a lot of talking. Let's go get something to drink, shall we? I heard that the Angel Share is selling a new drink called Fruits of the Festival. Everyone's saying it's delicious. <gasps> I want some! I want some! Okay, everyone. Let's go. Take this, crush it, and place it on the fracture. Listen, Missy. Promise me you'll live on. This is where you must stay. You are our only hope. Forgive me, Kaya. Very good. That's my boy. I will always be proud of you. <sighs> ah, 
after all the time we spent on it, the wine still isn't ready. <laughs> May as well leave it for our son. Razor. What do you think of that name? Oh, an adventurer's name. Yes, I like it. Razor? Razor, come on! <laughs> Wasn't people talking that Barkas gave him the name? Um, yeah. yeah, but at least we get some more story from the characters like that. Uh, okay, that's the. What? Ah, okay, now those. Got there still. Charge revenge. Yeah. Uh, but I think the only people that actually knew them, the only person that actually knew them was Varkas, so nobody here is sure. <laughs> uh, they have different names here. Uh, I hope they won't take too long. Let's go to this quest. Mm -hmm. yeah, a bit closer. Follow the wind. Mr. Hunter, please take me with you. I'll be helpful, I promise. Come down. We are recruiting to hunt for spores, you know? Yes. No. But we can hire someone who doesn't have any hunting experience. Uh, what shall I do? My paper. Is my paper going to gather the first spores up here into the woods? What's with the long face? You too? What happened? If it is the legendary traveler, cheer up, lad. This person right here may have a solution for you. Solutions for you, trouble for me, I bet. Uh, don't say that. Everyone knows that the other knight of monster is both capable and happy to help. So, what do you need help with? Forged boars have been appearing very often recently, and there, there aren't enough hunters to deal with them. So we are recruiting volunteers who are willing to capture the Forged Boars. This student from Sumero wants to join too, but judging by his feeble look, he is not physically suitable for such a task. Turn to a student, why do you want to join the hunt? Forged Boars may appear lovely with their round shape, but they are very dangerous when charged towards you. I advise against approaching them unless you are as agile as me. I know, I know, but a creature of legend has appeared around here after all. What about a creature of legend? Yeah, he's probably talking about the white mane first boar species that I happened upon a few days ago. I happened to mention it when I was chatting with him earlier. I've never seen that type of first boar before, but are they really that special? Of course, as far as I know, the type of first boar you saw is a breed. That has been extinct for over a hundred years. The snowboard. Aren't those the ones from Dragon's Pine? Some adventurers recently claim to have found traces of them in Dragon's Pine, but the academic world at large did not believe them due to inconsistence inside reports. No, they are all around there, just frozen. I won't hide it from you. Uh, I'm an Amurti student from the Sumer Academia. I have not decided on the topic of my graduation paper, so I came here to take a break and attend the violence fest. 
Uh, it could be a great academic discovery if I were to find conclusive evidence that snowboard species is still extinct. I'm sure it will make my paper writing process a lot easier too. See, Ignus, is it just me, or do you also find that many academic researchers we meet have similar worries? Studying is important indeed, but good health is the foundation for everything, so for the safety, I really can't bring him along. Um, traveler, would you be willing to join a captured team in his place? If we have someone like you to join us, we'll be able to catch force boards much more efficiently for sure. We can also free up some time to help look for traces of the snowboard. Really? Don't worry, I have funds for our research. I can definitely offer payment that would satisfy everyone. Okay, let's do this for scientific research. Let's settle then. However, I'm heading out to catch for sport soon. I've seen snowboards in that place before, so you should come too. I set up some common hunting tools on the forest. I'll teach you how to use them later. We can set off once you're ready. Okay. I'm ready, let's go. Just hit the board. Any other crimes? Expulsion, you must expel boards, such an area. Only use normal attacks. Expulsion to prepare spices will earn different number of points. Uh, different items may appear within the air to help with the rid of boards, as we should also damage for your boards. And you start stamming this character. Okay. be a lot of stuff here for each one. Mm. Yeah, I guess I'll continue tomorrow. Tomorrow, but yeah, it should be doable to get everything. 